Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Look, we only left the chickens in this area for such a short time and they already trampled down some weeds. Oh, she sits here. She sits there? Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous out. Let's see if they have enough water and food. Lots of water. Don't go out. Lots of food. <laughs> They're all friends now. Which one's she, Molly? There's no dogs. You guys can tell. Whoa. You guys can tell that Molly is uh, one of the favorite names in our family. We've had more Mollies in life than Ooh. any other name. Calm down, baby girl. Calm down, baby Calm girl. Down. So we've been getting how many eggs every day, Sophie? Two. Two eggs every day, and it's because we think that little girl over there is a little yeah, young. But basically, these are gypsy moth. Are they gypsy moth? Yeah. And they eat all the trees, and we're having a huge infen, inf, in, then infestation. infestation infestation I forget how to say the word oh my god I need There's to go some under there. yeah and they're eating all of our trees but for some reason they're unable to oh my goodness holy heck nope. there's tons anyway welcome to today's video uh, we do the oh, chickens yeah, every day and Gabby Sophie's been religiously getting two eggs every day gorgeous grown up full eggs I like to leave them alone more because that's when they lay their eggs when you leave them alone yeah, because we like to then because they're le a little less friendly because they're scared of us. Yeah, they aren't like super friendly chickens, but that's okay. Okay, it's gonna rain today. It's Yesterday gonna pour. I came in and I'm all having a dirt bath. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know why, but I feel like there's a flood in the pool, you guys. A leak. Because where would this water come from? And the water is down a bit in the pool. I feel what? Ah, there's a leak. You guys see it? I suspected that yesterday. Crap. So we knew the rain was about to arrive. It was as soon as I got down. Yeah, like we, I was like, oh no. We need to bring all the horse blankets in that were outside. And. Did you say didn't hear her? Hmm? Oh, is that her? I did hear that. I only heard you. So anyways, we ran down to bring them inside and it started pouring rain. So now we are trapped in the barn. That is her. She's talking so Why much more now. No, she talks a lot. Oh, they just chilling on my bed, and all I hear is, oh. oh. Three dogs is the right amount for us. Three barn dogs. Three barn dogs is the right amount of barn dogs. I need some toast. I'm not gonna lie. I want another border collie though. Yeah. I have bad news. What? Bad news about the pool. Did it leak? It's leaking. There's a big leak. Did I do that? No, you didn't do it. But I, we can fix it. We have like a patch, and Dad can do it. We just gotta keep filling it up every time. No, we gotta, we gotta fix it. But we can't do it today because it's pouring rain. So give them an update on when your next show is. This week. Ne yeah, next weekend, a week from Saturday. And then when is your first rated Trillium show? Two weeks from that. Two? No, one week from that. Yeah, like we're gonna be showing two weeks in a row. Things are heating up, you guys. We have two shows in a row. Like no shows, no shows, no shows. Two shows in a row and we haven't even found all the shows that we're taking Sophie and Finn and Gabby and Storm to. And we're already booked up. Like we're already booking up. Anyways, it's gonna be insane. The first show that we're going to is super far away. The rated show's far away. Like. This is going to be a whole different experience. This is going to be like a different experience than we've had before. You guys are going to get to see a different way to do shows than a tiny town. Because of COVID, there's no group flat class in any of the shows that we're going to have this year. It's all just straight jumping. And then... I don't like that. And then at Sophie, at the show that we're doing on Saturday is a development show. And... Sophie's class, the only class that she could do is cross rails, and it has some cross rails and some verticals. It only has verticals at the end of each line. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyways, we haven't been doing very much training with jumping lately, so we have four lessons now before the first show. I booked extra lessons so that the girls can be ready. Me and poles hate each other. You and poles hate each other? Yeah, I stand on them, I'm like, and I... Do it so we can see. We no. all want to see you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so also tonight is lessons with Brandon. It's our second lesson with Brandon since uh, we got oh, back. Now you can let Molly jump on you. Come here. I do not want Molly to jump on me. Hey, come here. Do you guys want to see that? Hey. 
I feel like she's gonna wait, smash my nose. Wait. Okay, come on up. No, no, come here. This is like toy. Hey, wait. Come on up. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I want my kids to be brave, and then I have to be brave. So no, let's no, do I this. Um, All right, Molly, Molly, Molly. Come on up. Come on up. No, that was wrong. I just. All right, well, at least I tried. Trying is all it takes, you guys. If you never give up and you just keep trying, you will never be a failure. You always have to keep trying. But I'm okay with the fact that she doesn't want to do it. That's okay by me. I'm terrified. <laughs> it's terrifying. Side first. Molly. So for everybody who thinks that this is so super... Oh! Try it. Okay. Oh, come on up. Come on up. Oh. <laughs> it's a baby. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I caught it, but she did it, you guys. It, it's kind of like it, she's gentle. She's gentle and she's safe. Oh, no, no, she's not gentle with me. All she does with me is. <laughs> That's what she did with me. It was so neat. Have you ever been so afraid of something and then you've done it and it's been the most exhilarating thing you've ever done? Having a dog leap into your arms is amazing. <laughs> now we're addicted. It's terrifying. And then there's six-year-old Ruby who's like, I'm not a puppy anymore. I will not do stupid stuff. <laughs> She's like, just let me lay here on the couch. <laughs> All you have to do is literally just close your arms. Yeah, she the holds, she lands on your body and holds on to your body somehow. And then, so the horses are outside in the pouring rain. Let's take a look and see what they're doing. Our horses are spoiled. They don't understand being in the rain. Oh, they're, they're doing okay. Must not be raining hard enough. I can't even see Willow. The grass can't even see Willow because the grass is so high. Where is Willow? Behind Penny. Behind Penny? Yeah, I see her. I see a back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's her neck. I see her neck. If it gets too hard of rain, they'll run to the gate and look at the house. Trust me, I see them do it all the time. Our horses are spoiled. They don't like rain. They don't like sun. They only like comfort. I swear if I put a blanket in the arena, they would just lay on it. So if you're wondering where the horses are in the pouring rain, they're all under the tree over there trying to stay dry. You can only see Gracie. So we decided that we're gonna make some gates into the fields and let them be, like, I don't even know if a gate would be beneficial if we just take down some, some rope, like some poles, because if there's a gate, they can't run. You know what I mean? Not that Penny's allowed to run, but. Okay, so live and learn. We're going to open up those other fields so that they can just wander back and forth and go where they want. And then we won't have to worry about changing fields. Just let them have I mean, full if it was run. the boys. If we had the boys here, we'd keep them separate. Yeah. Because they'd tear all, all down. And eat yeah, all. like boys are bad. <laughs> Everybody likes a gelding. Boys are rambunctious. The boys are, if it was raining right now and the boys were here, we'd be in trouble because they'd just be flying around that field. The girls are standing quietly under a tree. It's like they're so surprised that we're leaving them out in the rain. They're like, oh, what's happening? Where are my people? <laughs> Why am I on the rain? It's warm out though and it won't hurt them. And if they ask to come in by going to the gate, then we'll move them. All right, so where are you guys going, you ask? We are doing another drive by a house. This is a house that we've seen before. This is the road that it's on. Um, we So a couple of years ago, before we, before, a couple a few years ago, I think there's a video of this house, actually. Well, um, probably not. Yeah, there is. I think we even used the picture of the house in the- probably way before this. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think, I think, I think we have a video of this house. But anyway, this house is for sale. It was sold a few years ago and we weren't ready and we went and we looked at the open house because there was an open house and we loved the house 
and so it's for sale again and it's where we want to be so the location I think is good other than it's on the road and you guys know I want privacy and I want like deep dark back in the woods where nobody will ever find us and because when you're on YouTube you kind of need to be in a spot that nobody can you know that you're not visible people drive by our farm all the time and then send me a message and say oh my gosh we drove by your farm and we saw them we saw everybody and so I kind of want private so it's in a good location it's in the area that we want but it's on the side of a road the house is beautiful it has less acres than we want it's beautiful the house is everything that we want but the but the barn setup is not perfect it has horses on it it's a horse property there are some things about the, the house that make it a little less desirable like it has an in-law suite that we don't need but we like it it's kind of in line of what we want so uh, anyway we're gonna take you by go buy it and I might show you a picture of it so you guys get an idea of what we're looking for but I've been loving that more houses are coming in the market right now and we have more choices also I don't want to wake up one day and post a video and say we're moving we got a new farm I kind of want to take you guys along on the journey with us like we have before because it was special okay so this is it and this is what I don't like it's on the corner so this this property all right here would be our property does it go back there too Sam uh, not sure. I think it must see how it goes back I don't know so this is property on the corner lot. Up here would be the barn. You guys, it's kind of private. I don't remember it this private. This is where it ends. Yeah, and this is where it ends here. <gasps> it could be a contender, you guys. It could be. So I could see the horses. The horses were standing in the big field. We didn't see them in the big field last time before, but when it was for sale before. Or maybe it was here. I like it. I kind of like it. I'm gonna. So this is what we do when we find a house that we like. We we drive by. We figure out if we like the area. We figure out if it's private enough, and then we go home and we watch the videos and we look at the pictures and stuff more and we try and decide if it's the one. I think it's the one. Like it's kind of private. It's a quiet road. One neighbor really close and then another neighbor far. I don't know. updated and we'll keep you guys posted you guys crazy things the ponies are like I'm done with the rain get me out of here <laughs> okay stop settle down we're gonna take you in stop it's okay it's okay <laughs> so that is true love wait good girl wait uh, it's not gonna come off uh, wait wait that's true love, you guys. It's no, true mean. love. I am innocent. <laughs> Don't be. They're mad. They are grouchy and they are mad. <laughs> they are so mad. Oh, you guys. <laughs> look like drowned rats. It's, it's war. You're wearing your winter coat and shorts. Because. Because <laughs> so they smile, smile, smile. Do I get you now? She's like, you know. We've been out there in the rain this whole morning. You've been looking a little bit chubbier than normal, Willow. I can you guys all a treat. <sighs> oh, that's a girl. They were mad out there. Sam and I came back. We were driving down the road and we could see the ponies running and running. And then we saw Penny pinning her ears at the ponies. And Penny were... was doing a really fast trial. I'm like, I'm coming, guys. Yeah. Then the ponies. Don't leave me here. <laughs> then the ponies saw us. Okay, well, the ponies saw us coming and they booked it to the gate. They're like, oh, thank the Lord, they're here. And Pen, then Penny came. <laughs> um, I, I, I got a scratch. Yeah, I got one too. All right. You guys chill in here for a while. <laughs> Dry off. You all look kind of chubbier than you were looking. It's okay. Who knew that I have not worn this coat in a long time and there's horse treats in it. Huh. There's just like a lot of treats. I'm like, what the heck? All right, we'll be back. We'll be back and we'll bring them a little bit of uh, hay a little later. Uh-oh. Great, that's, oh my gosh. Sophie, 
Look, Daddy's phone. Oh, great. Now mine's going to do it, too. That's not my pony. Oh, my God. That's not my pony. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. Don't be so mad. He's angry. Yeah, they're anxious. They're mad. That is because... not my pony. <laughs> I am not being angry about it. <laughs> yeah. You feel better now? You're all full of sand? And you there goes Penny. You for rolling. Penny's going down. She's about to. Itching. Mm -hmm. and she wants to, though. She's smiling at you. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some girls. So, Dad and I went to look at a house, and we really like it. And uh, we we're discussing about, like, right. if we would you ever... <laughs> we were discussing about how, like, if we would ever put the boys and the girls together, because that's the ultimate goal, is to bring them home. And uh, Finn thinks that he's the boss of everyone. No, I think Finn and Gina would love to be with the mares. I just worry about Storm, but that's, I think, the ultimate goal, is to have a full herd, have our own little full herd. All right, goodbye, ponies. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Oh, I have a coat on. I have, I have horse treats in my pocket, too. Okay. You look cute in brown, Gracie. All right, we are at the barn. Brandon lessons tonight. So we're gonna see how it goes. All right, we got Gabby. We got Sophie. Every time she doesn't have a whip. And we got Paigey in the back, Paige. All right, so that was a good lesson. You look beautiful. I love these. Yeah, we finished all of our main delight treats. We still have like four. Packs. Save some of those and we'll bring them to the show. And a little bit of food. I'm gonna bring the purple ones to the show. All right, we'll bring the Green purple ones. ones. Are cute. They're all cute. All right, what about Stormy? Have you seen Storm? Giving uh -huh. him some pats? Mm -hmm. Giving him some love? Did you give him a treat? Mm -hmm. Is that Sophie's saddle that needs a cover? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll get her. All right, we're getting, getting ready to go home. So Gabby just gave Storm some treats and some loves. We all went in there, even Sam goes in because it wasn't a riding day, but on Monday, he's gonna have a big riding day. He's gonna be ridden by another girl. Oh, you got a couple of bites. Itchy, aw. Sometimes when we come, I like to just go in and rub him and scratch him because one thing about Storm, even though he can be like strong-minded and thinks he's the boss all the time, he actually, I'm going in, actually loves to be touched. He just comes right over to me. He's like, please. And he knows that I'll do it. Yeah. This is the way to your horse's heart, you guys. This is what you have to do to build the bond. Climb in their stall and scratch them where they're itchy. He, oh, is it all itchy? Yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?